hi guys today we are back this time we want to go straight to the street we want to show you how it looks like on the street those um, dangerous uh, rough attacks and uh, whatever on the street we want to see them how you can escape them how you how you can can you can meander maneuver yourself out of any form of uh, attack on the street enjoy this uh, but please do not uh, forget our first timers to always subscribe and hit the bell enjoy this. okay all right that's it on the streets we have different kinds of human beings rough name it you you do not nobody nobody plans for anything to come up you might just be on your own and a confrontation or sometimes might be a confrontation that you have been there or some you you just you just you, you just walk into the the confrontation and uh, which emanates to attack we were going to see how you can get yourself out of such mess all right okay like he is the man on the street he will show one of the moves like a man on the street what a man on the street will want to do to you to to any of his uh, an adversary or somebody whoever he sees as, as an adversary that he wants to attack there's there are moves or ways that the street man want to use, apply so we want to check on some of them and the first one he will show just one of those street moves and I will tell you or I'll tell us how to avert such a uh, move okay now let's see I come with the punch. Right? Strike him. Strike him. Strike him. So how do how do we how do we defend that? How do we, how do I defend that? How do I how do you defend that? Yes. All right. All right. Let's say you you are just coming in, and I sense there's an attack that they will be attacked. There may be an attack from you. And from walking walking as if you're coming to attack. That's the first thing I'll do. I will pull him. That's the first thing I'll do. Because if I look on, I look on your face, I look at your eyes or into your eyes, and I, from the expression on your face that you're walking in, I should sense that there's something. So I will, first of all, take a, com a convenient or comfortable posture that will make me to be able to uh, to be able to counter whatever you're coming with all right now like what we've just shown you step in and i sense the, the the danger i step back i will not even allow you to execute those multiple uh, multiple uh, punches because i have already sensed the danger and immediately okay as you're stepping in so now let's make the move let me finish it i go boom Immediately I stop you and the moment I stop you I will not end there. I stop you and I will return back to you what you wanted to came um, what you wanted to give to me. That is how it goes. Which means you have to be very sensitive whenever you are on the street. You have to be you don't walk you don't walk carelessly. Don't work carelessly. You have to be very sensitive because anything can happen. Just like that, somebody just woke up to you and probably you've seen the expression on his face and you sense that there's a danger coming. What you do, you don't just stand there carelessly and wait for him to, to do that. Immediately you see him walk close to you, you step back. Then when you step back, when it's time to advance, you can do this or you can go to the front and stop him. And when, once you stop him, you return the counter. So what if you try if you tries to stop him with the kick and he grabs your leg? I mean I come ah, ah, good. Then. Now when he grabs your leg, he is more he is more in the danger than you. 
You have various ways. We're going to take them one after the other. Now he has grabbed your leg. Now what do you do? Return a punch. Pull your leg in and return a punch here. Pam. That's one. Two. You pull yourself in. Grab him here. And move up. Boom. See what happened? Ah. There. Elbow. I mean knee. Boom. That is two. Three. He grabs your leg. Now this is what you do. Hold him here. This here. Boom. I don't want to go down. I'll strike. I'm striking his leg. Go down here. Did we get that? There. I hold him and I lift myself up and I strike his leg here. That process might even end up dislocating here because I am not going down there. I'm going to the knee region. Boom. And there's going to be a shock there. That is how many? Three. Hold again. Now from here. Turn. And when you turn, stumble. Still to the jaw. Pam. The jaw. That's four. The fifth one. We're going to just stop at the fifth one. Now the fifth one is pulling thrust. That's very dangerous. That's very, very dangerous. So those are the five ways to beat or to overcome or to defeat such attack. So now, if I, if someone tries on the streets, now you go in, and some people have to, some people will take, take, two, take, try to take. So the multiple attack, in such case of hitting one, trying to hit two, how do, how do you manage, how do you manipulate that, how, how does that go? Okay. Now, like I said at first, when you came in, I said, come in for your attack. And as you step in, I notice you are coming for attack, I step back. And what you were, what you had in mind was not just to take a blow and pause. You were coming for a multiple attack. Exactly. So what I, I did was immediately I step back. I give myself that space and allow you as you're stepping in, I stop you. While stopping you, you will not be able to execute the multiple attack. Fine. Let's assume. Let's assume I was not quick enough to detect you and you are ready at the range that even if I step back you are ready at my range which when you throw the blow it will still get to me I don't have the opportunity again to stop you now what will I do immediately you throw I go down and you come again by the time you come again I go I return by the time I come I have to return here to pause you Let me explain it well again. He comes in. He throws the first blow. Go. I sink. And it goes the other one. I sink. Then I go here. And I decide to use your I decide to return here. I must not, you must not allow him to empty everything he has. Because that multiple continuous attack on you is only to throw you off, off balance make you uncalculative you uncoordinated you can't coordinate anymore the moment he goes one two three he might not get you one two three because he might succeed to escape one escape two escape three but will you continue to escape four five because he is coming so the moment you escape one and two you should not think of allowing more to come one and two return so that you post his three. You get that? You post his three on the way. That he can return. So instead of him coming again, you rather return back. And it will be more devastating on him because he never expected that you will bounce back on him. That's one dangerous thing about when you are attacking and a counter comes. Because it's always very rare for you, the attacker. To, to have a plan or to think that as you're coming that there's going to be uh, a counter immediately and that is why most times if for instance we are here and you try to advance with an attack your expectation is that I should go back but by the time 
you are trying to advance i move in it will jerk it will jerk your attack you might not be able to release the attack fully again because your expectation has instantly been altered so it will affect you within a split second and within that split second that you have gotten that jerk is enough time for the other person to to batter you seriously so in some um in our case of fight because I've, I've, I've seen a fight a fight a fight that on the street someone puts put someone and a handful like this here how do you escape this okay fine and let's let's move a bit to this place okay now hook that link good there are various ways number one way is this lock good now when he locks you here don't try to breathe hold your breath if you try to breathe it will it will seem as if he wants to choke you hold your breath if the very seconds you hold your breath you go here mm. There. That is it. And not once. Pam, pam, pam. Until he frees you. Boom, there. Boom, there. The, the hand will go. And if you give a hard one here, yeah, even just one, he will leave. The hand will go. That's one. Grab again. You might decide not to do this. And you decide to go this. To the ground. Boom! Here to the ground. See that? To the ground. That's two. Now you might decide not to go to the ground. And you take this. Hold him here. And stamp here. Stamp here. Pam! Once you stamp here, pam! He will lose guard. And once he lose guard, you take him down. You see his head is there. You take him down. Pam. Drops his head on the ground. Pam. You get that? Stamp here. You hold him. He has locked you. Put, bring your leg here. Stamp here. Pam. Once you stamp here, he loses guard. Here you go. Take yourself down. He drops his head. Boom. That is the three ways. Maybe we should add one more. Now let's see one more. All right, this time by grabbing. He grabs your, your shirt by the neck. Ha! You have a lot of ways to escape this. Now what you do is, one, you can strike here. Once you strike the joint, the hand goes down. Once you go here, one, two. Watch again. You go one, and you strike here too. He goes down. Remember, we said in our other shots that a strike to this place is very dangerous. So by the time you shock his hand, pam, and his hand goes down, he opens here, boom, here. Go your way. All right. So now let's see what other way you can. What are you going to grab? Okay, like a double grab. A double grab. You have three, four ways, even more. But one of the ways is this: open here and strike here. Just instantly, just here, strike here. But he never thought of that. So the moment you bring your hand, the moment you bring your hand this way, pam, the hand goes. And you return with the strike. That is one. Now let's see another way to still escape that same technique. Now you can decide to bring yourself backwards he will follow now when he follows you 
one and you go here okay. we get that watch again you take yourself back he follows you then you bring it here so we have like i said various ways but we're only going to make do with at least that's about two or three then which other aspect do you think on the street ask let's 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 clarify the issue i find someone some people if okay let's assume they came like two okay someone come from your back put your hands low how do you do that how do you how do you do from this okay now grab the grab it grab my neck people came maybe two persons came and one came from the back and somehow I lose guard and he grabbed my neck immediately and locked. As I said earlier, anything that comes to your neck, you should try to hold your breath immediately. But if you try to breathe when he locks you, when he locks you up to choke you, and once he chokes you, you will kind of be disorganized. So you hold your breath. And the moment you hold your breath, in a split second you will know what to do fine you check his head is close to you by the time you do this hard and you are doing one and two you go one and you go two we get that you shock the head shock him there if it is if his eyes or whatever that is there, you go palm there. And once he goes there, you go here. That's one. Now another way to escape that same technique. Alright. Now try to lock even hard. Alright. Now this is what you do. I go slowly, lock it again. I go slowly. I, I hit him like that. By hitting him will make me have that speed. So, bam, I hit, palm and go. Yeah, he gives the hand back. So we are going to make use of that too, for now. I'm trying to think of any other way that it can happen on the street. I think we have been able to exhaust some of most of them. So subsequently, as more of more of those uh, street forms comes up, we will make us have a glimpse of how to to tackle them. All right? Please, I also want to remind our first timers to always. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you.